Hey everybody, what's up? Patrick Bryant here. Gonna go over my step-by-step uh, -step process of how I painted my rune golem that I did here recently. I'll go over a couple of different brushes that I used, and I'll also go over later on uh, a couple of different lighting effects on this guy. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Just started out with a nice little thumbnail, really quick, just to get the pose down, get the design look. And uh, once I'm happy with that, I sort of move on from here. So the brush that I like to use for sketching and uh, some soft blending, and I'll show you that a little bit later, is uh, made up from the hard round brush that's already in Photoshop, and I just made a version that's just kind of square. Um, my spacing is checked and set to 7%. On other dynamics, I have the opacity and flow jitter both set to pin pressure. Airbrush and smoothing are both checked. And with this brush, I just like the way it feels. Kind of feels like a uh, like I have an actual pencil on paper, and I see the question posted a lot on different artist tutorials or on their websites. Uh, I've been asked the question a lot myself is, uh, you know, what brush do I use? What type of brush do I use? And you'll come to find out if you haven't already that many artists just use one brush. It's not about the brush you're using. It's about how you apply it. Um, you're the artist. You're the one that's going to make your picture look cool. You're going to make your painting look cool. It's not Photoshop. So Try not to get trapped in that thinking of, you know, um, you know, I would paint if I knew what type of brush to use. Uh, it's basically one brush, and many artists will tell you that, especially ones that are much better than I am. So um, once I kind of have this thumbnail done, what I'll do is just turn the opacity down to about 30-some percent. Just give me the kind of feel that I have a piece of tracing paper laying on top, and I'll go in here and start uh, sketching in a couple of details. And... With this one, I don't worry about getting too tight with the line sketch, uh, with the line art, because I know I'm going to be spending all my time painting this guy. So I'll still keep this stage um, a little rough and a little loose. Just use it as a guideline here of uh, just where I want to go with this. And like I said, not going to spend too much time on this one because that's going to be for the actual painting. You can get as detailed or as not detailed as you like at this stage. It's really up to you. And as you can see, like I said, I'll even keep this stage kind of rough as well. I'm going to be painting over all this stuff later. So this is laying on top. So I'll just keep working that up until the point where I'm happy with it and get to this stage here turn off our initial thumbnail and there we go we have our guy I'm ready to go and from here we'll start painting so the next step here is just adding in some basic flat colors and just grab our hard round brush in Photoshop and underneath my sketch I'll just start adding in some flat color and some artists like to work really really dark initially um, I get a little dark not too much. I don't like going too dark. Just kind of desaturated look. I kind of have this bluish gray color. And I'll just start filling all this in. All this is underneath my sketch. Not worried about being too neat with it. I'll clean up later. And just keep moving on and keep moving on until I have all my um, flat colors done. So I've got a little brown for this. And I'll just keep working my way up until I get to this point. So all of my flat colors are in. And from here, I want to add a, a little bit of a, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to add in some, some basic shading for my guys. So I have my line sketch. I have my flat color on two different layers. What I'll do is I'll make a layer above my flat color, change it to multiply. And what I'm going to do is pick sort of a medium gray color not too dark somewhere around here and <clears throat> excuse me start painting in some basic shading for this guy and this is just basically serving as a guideline for what I'm going to do it's not uh, nothing's final just keep adding in a little bit of where my lighting, where I think my lighting is going to come from, 
right now I have some I'll have my some backlighting once I throw the background in but kind of some light that's just going into this area here so we'll have this stuff here kind of darkened in some and I'll do this stage really rough really fast just to give me an idea of what's going on and the reason why I have it on multiply is it's gonna kinda give me a feel that I'm working with a marker uh, when you're on a multiply layer if I have uh, you know just one stroke here and as you keep going over it it'll get darker and darker so I'll just keep working my way up until I get to this point so once I have that I have all my little dark areas and I like that's in there and what I'll do from here is I'll actually merge the line art the grayscale layer and the flat colors I'll merge all those guys together and I'll just start painting everything on top from there so on this one here I just kinda threw in a quick background set up my color swatch which is uh, as you can see very limited don't need a lot of colors with this guy and from here we're just gonna start painting and so the main brush that I start that I paint with is just like that initial one that I showed you except um, brush tip shape still the same 7% spacing on other dynamics I have the opacity set to pin pressure but I have the flow turned off and smoothing is on and I don't have airbrush on this one I kinda want that uh, kinda like that paintbrush painterly look to it and from here what I'll do is uh, just start painting and I'll just kinda use uh, some of the colors that I have from my grayscale layer and with my little swatch that I made and we'll just continually continually just work our way up and this obviously takes you know the time I didn't use a texture brush for the rock look or whatever I just did it myself just kinda of dabbing in going over adding different colors I'll even throw in some green blend some of that in there and just keep working my way and working my way up And like I said, once again about the brushes, is um, it's not so much which brush to use, it's about how to control the settings on it. So right now I have the opacity and flow set to 100%. And if you ever want, you know, the flow basically is how much paint's going to be on your brush, so to speak. You can always turn the flow down. And you know, I, let me see, I'll just pick some of this green over here and with the flow turned down you get a little bit of green if I turn that back up to 100 percent it's gonna be a little bit brighter so it's just about controlling it and it's just about practice and all this stuff of course can just be blended in painted over and you just keep working your way up from here so here as I kept moving just have all my rock done in here and we add our rooms and later on another layer and I did the runes on another layer because I'll show you that here real quick before uh, wrapping this up and then we'll move on to the final stage of this is I can sort of just make a design and just I can kind of play with it and then later on you will use it if I want and so that's why that's on a different layer and just real quick and with the eraser just come in and just make this look really, really neat. Get some sharp edges. Later on, I'll add a little jagged edges to it to give uh, to sort of blend in with those rocks a little bit. So kind of have my basic shape in there, and I just don't have to worry about painting over this again and again and again with it being on another layer. Like that, so that's how I did my runes. You can see them there, and this isn't finished yet. So, what we'll do on the next um, part two here, really quick, is I'll um, go over how finishing this thing up with uh, some different little blending modes, as far as um, excuse me, layer mask to add some lighting to them. So, um, hopefully, you found this helpful. Uh, if you like it, please click the like button. It does help. Uh, if you don't like it, click the dislike button or whatever. Um, Tell me why. You know, did I miss something? Did I skip over something? Is there something else you want to see? So, um, all right. I'll see you guys over here in part two.